this is a video of my new dithered R12 bitmap viewer. We are going to look at a picture that I created for the Tektronix 4050 series computers from the trailer of The Mandalorian Season 3. And so the file is on my GPIB flash drive and is over 500 kilobytes in size and has 190,000 dots. Since these computers can draw lines and dots, they're vector computers, they have no memory for the, the display, but the display is the memory. Once we write a dot to the screen, it persists. So let's see our picture. You'll notice a line of dots starts on the left side, goes to the right side, and the orange flashes you see are individual dots being displayed on this CRT, which is a Option 31 color refresh display. And the color part means they added red phosphor and green phosphor to the faceplate of the tube there's just one beam, but depending on the energy of that beam uh, and the dot, it either is in refresh mode, which is only red is illuminated, or both red and green. And so what we see as kind of an orangey color to the dot is both red and green turning on. The red then has very short persistence, fraction of a second, and so below that line of dots being drawn, the screen is completely green, and above the line of dots is a blank screen. So the file contains just the dots in the picture, and as you see on the right side, well, uh, it's not in the frame uh, of this video, there's an I.O. light that's blinking, indicating that a whole line of dots up to 1,024 dots are being read from the drive and blasted to the screen in a single command in BASIC, my BASIC program. Uh, so these computers had BASIC and ROM like a lot of the microcomputers of the late 70s and early 80s. The ROM in this machine is 64 K bytes and I have 64 K bytes of RAM. So it really is very high end for a 1979 era microcomputer. This particular technique of using dithered dots is what you see in newspaper uh, pictures, is they print a bunch of dots, more than this picture. So we see, for instance, in the on the right side of the screen, Grogu is sitting in his half eggshell and the back is down. And basically we see dots placed at positions that the software has determined try to give you an idea of the curvature of that object. And it's fairly dark in the color picture that I used as the source material. And we're almost done. We're at the top of the screen where Mando's helmet is being illustrated. You can see in the background on the left of Mandro, out of focus, Mando, out of focus, is a droid uh, on the ground. Uh, there's people in the background, but the picture in the video was intentionally focused on Mando and Grogu, not the background. So it's slightly out of focus in the color original. This file took over three hours to convert from a bitmap into this dot file that we're displaying in a couple of minutes. And we're done. Hope you enjoyed it.